So, you want to start a career in HVAC and was thinking about going to a trade school. However, you don't have 15 to 25,000 lying around and or don't want to take on a lot of debt that you have to repay. What do you do? Well, good news, I'm going to show you several no-cost or low-cost alternatives to enrolling in a trade school. These alternatives will give you decent instruction and help you start your heating and air career for little or no money. Hi, my name is Mitch Bailey and this video is for those thinking about getting started in the HVACR industry but don't know where to begin or have the finances to go to a trade school. First, let me say that trade schools have an important role to play in the heating and air industry. Trade schools supply the industry with a pool of labor that is adequately trained and ready to work. However, one of the pitfalls are the cost to attend a trade school. Most trade schools charge tens of thousands to complete their courses. One alternative, community college classes can be less expensive, but take longer to graduate and are less intensive than a trade school. However, not all community colleges have an HVAC program. Fortunately, there are some alternatives to going to a trade school or community college that can provide more than adequate instruction. Although this training is not as complete as a trade school, it can be just as effective when coupled with on-the-job training. The first source for no or low-cost education comes from investor-owned utilities in California. PG&E, Southern California Edison, San Diego Gas and Electric, so SoCal Gas and Bay Rit. There are several smaller public power companies like Modesto Irrigation District and Sacramento Municipal Utility District and although they have some training available they are nowhere near as comprehensive as the investor-owned utilities like PG&E. The investor-owned utilities offer a considerable number of classes that uh, a person starting in their heating and air career can take advantage of. These classes are part of a mandate that the California Public Utilities Commission placed on utility companies in California. The PUC mandated that a public purpose surcharge be added to everyone's bill for electricity and gas. These funds are used to pay for low income incentives, rebates, and for the education of utility stakeholders such as businesses, contractors, their employees, and the public. In other words, we have all paid for these classes. You paid for it, so you should take advantage of them. Okay, let's go back in time. Let's go back to the 80s and the 90s. This is when PG&E required a company's employees to attend training and perform certain required tests in order to participate in any of the PG&E rebate programs. If you did not participate, your customer could not receive any rebates. Many of the investor-owned utilities still require training in order to participate in their programs. Okay. Within the last 10 years, the investor-owned utilities have put an emphasis on having heating and air company employees be trained and certified by NATE. NATE stands for North American Technician Excellence, and NATE is the largest nonprofit certification organization for heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration in the country. I will include a link in the description to NATE. Also, in addition, you can purchase study guides for the different specialty tests and the core test uh, for Nate. This uh, last time I checked the study guides was $50 for each specialty. Okay. In order to facilitate Nate training, most of the investor owned utilities have contracted with another nonprofit in California, IHACI. IHACI stands for the Institute of Heating and Air Conditioning uh, Industries and uh, Incorporated. They are to provide instruction toward the various Nate certifications. Uh, Moreover, a little over eight years ago, I was asked to teach these classes here in Northern California for IHACI at the PG&E Training Center in Stockton and also at the Southern California Edison Training Center in Tulare. Currently, due to distance learning, the classes are all online webinars. However, we should be going back to in-person training next year. Now, one of the great things about IHACI training was that it was done at night between six and nine and they also served dinner between 5 and 6, which allowed students to come straight from work, eat dinner, and then take the class. Life doesn't get any better. Dinner in a class? Well, that's great. Okay. Usually, before all the distance learning uh, started, IHACI also would proctor a test on Saturday for those wishing to get their NATE certifications. This was at the end of the year. We would get up to 100 people taking the test. However, since the distance learning, we have not had a test for two years. 
Okay. However, hopefully we will get back to in-person training this next year. Don't get me wrong. I am not knocking the online classes, but they are just not the same. We are the hands-on kind of people. I will include links in the description to iHacky, pg and and Southern California Edison's training pages. Okay, in addition to the iHackey program, pg and and Southern California Edison also have other classes during the day, many of them geared toward HVAC. Check out their links and all the training that is available. Additionally, Southern California Edison has classes available through NCI, which stands for National Comfort Institute. NCI actually gives certifications at the end of the class. The NCI classes usually cost as much as $1,000. However, Southern California Edison absorbs most of the cost and charge only $50 a day. I personally am certified as a commercial air balancer through these classes. And I have to say, they're a great way to improve your skill set in addition to allowing you to legitimately charge for air balancing. Another no-cost training alternative is the different brands themselves. You do this through their supply houses. Jim Air University is a perfect example. Their classes are geared toward Rame and Rude equipment. They have a ton of online resources of archived webinars, archived webinars, along with ongoing webinars at no cost. I will include a link in the description to their uh, uh, web pages. Finally, I will talk about Skillcat app and them offering free training to get your EPA 608, which allows you to handle refrigerants. They also have a whole section on basics that build to more advanced subjects. Currently, on October 1st of 2021, it is still free. Again, I'll include a link in the description to their website. All right. So as you can see, there are a multitude of places to go get an education for HVAC. And I haven't even included great YouTube channels like HVACschool.com or AC Service Tech LLC, which are both excellent channels with hundreds of thousands of subscribers and great content on how things work. I'll include links to their channels also in the description. So, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And also, I need a little help from everyone out there. This is so that we can get out the word on all the great low-cost or no-cost training that is out there available for everyone. So share this with everyone you know. Plus, if you know of any other great training that is low-cost or no-cost, let me know in the comment section below and I can update this video. So go out there and get your education on, and I look forward to seeing you in my classes in the future. Thanks for watching.